Hi, everyone. Hi, Robert. Hi, Holly. Did you wash your hands? Did you wash your lips? Kissing you, fool. I can't. I don't care. Kiss me I don't elbow. care. If we're contagious, so be it. Then we're together and we're both. We're going to have to self quarantine together then. Oh, baby. Do we get to stay in bed? Hi, Allison. Okay. Hi. So, just so you know, this, this virus, how do you say it? You say it better than me. I keep saying it like the beer coronavirus, and you I say it the, the right way. I call it the carnival virus. The carnival virus? <laughs> okay. It's uh, COVID-19. So. Is the official. There will be, there will continue to be updates. Hour by hour by minute hour. Minute by minute. Minute by minute. Imagine if day we didn't by day. have. Oh imagine if we didn't have the internet. Seven? Crazy. We'd have to wait till tomorrow morning yeah. till the paper. I would be much happier. Person. Till the newspaper was in the driveway. Much happier. Hi, Mara. To find out what the hell was going on. So the way instead of every second of every day as it really, pops up on your screen, it's really a little much. Okay, and media Jesus. and social media is impacting the way we feel, the way we show up or not show up or quarantine ourselves, and everybody is being proactive. Okay, schools, yeah. families, employers. Everybody. Yeah, there's there's okay. stuff happening that you know, like planning hey, and stuff that, hey Marco, that you know we never planned for before. Well, you know, my mother said there's been epidemics before. But people she, are like, people are are getting stuff, like it's oh, like it's going to be a snowstorm. Okay, well, I think we already discussed the toilet paper. But still, paper but it, towel. it's like in everybody's social media. Didn't stream, hear enough you know. about the toilet paper and paper towel situation. Then feel but free now, to go to yesterday's now episode there were some places of in, Live uh, with Holly and Robert. Some places in New York that were I mean real life with Holly and Robert. were raising, you know, uh, price gouging. Which is a problem. Actually, okay, um you know, there are always gonna be people that are gonna try to benefit and, and take advantage of others. From from yes. from yes. it like happens this. almost immediately with everything with everything it happens right? almost immediately. You know, listen, even after storms, people like people have... like were selling, like people were going online and selling like cures. Hi, Dawn. You know, cures. Please say hi to coronavirus cures. Your fam. Oh, really? Hey, what? No, no. People like immediately and went Lola. online. You know who Lola is? You do remember Lola? She was a showgirl. No. The Detour Gallery. Oh, yes. Hi, Lola. Beautiful Lola. Yeah. So yes, let me tell you, we've been talking, been talking about you, and we do visit. want to get together with you again. Yeah, what a great space. So let me just tell you something, okay? This article was the way we talk about coronavirus matters. And let me tell you something. The way... The way we behave with the information we have, mm -hmm. whether it be Fear, what are some of the, 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 fear is the biggest, but, hey. Well, Amy. anxiety, fear, anxiety. you know, but we don't, I think part of the problem is, you know, people don't know, they don't know, know. what to believe and who to listen to kind so, of thing. So they're getting information from all over the places. And, and, and the problem is, you know, the spread of, of wrong information and generally not by, by news outlets per se, but by people who, oh, I heard that this, or I heard that that, you know. So, Hi, Susan. You know, you got to take a little bit with a grain of salt, but in but spite listen, of that, it's listen, very, it's very daunting. Listen, it says in the midst of a coronavirus epidemic, we're likely to continue to be inundated with statistics, charts, and maps tracking the pathogen. It can be easy to forget in this context of global fear, especially given the likelihood that the number of cases in the U.S. will spike now that testing is more widely available right. in individual states, that what we're really talking about when we talk about disease is people. But Wait, let me, please, let me finish. That is the reason we care about disease, mm -hmm. is because we care about the people it may harm. And therefore, epidemiology is as much about people as about disease. So ultimately, hey, Melanie, it is all about our loved ones and about the people care about. Now listen to this. No, Priscilla listening. Wald wrote a book in really? 2008. With words? In 2008, called Contagious. Uh -huh. And in this book, she coined a term, which is what I put into, which I populated my post with, called a term called outbreak narrative. To describe the way we talk about emerging infectious diseases, 
The Qi argues that concepts such as patient zero and typhoid Marys, which are healthy carriers, can make a good comprehensible story out of a chaotic reality, but can actually hinder our ability to fight disease. So all I know is that here, in the 80s, the disease of the day was syphilis. Really? Victorians largely believed that only sex yeah, workers but then it was, but then... were responsible for the diseases spread, not their customers. Acting upon this logic, public health measures regarding syphilis were aimed at this population. <coughs> Unsurprisingly, see, see more and more unwitting housewives and their babies nevertheless began to show signs of syphilis brought home by husbands who had solicited sex workers. Yes. So I again, remember those days. Okay, we become, so actually this has become a global epidemic, right? Because we're all concerned, 1880s. Oh, 1880s. 1880s. Okay, but here it is, we're, we're becoming so concerned, so we, the future security of said nation, right? So here we know Italy, okay, has quarantined, what, 4 million It's basically people? shut down. No, the whole country, I think, is... is well, I'm very of... glad that Kayla is home and so far healthy. Because our son is with her. And I will also say they did something really cool, which I don't know if we've talked about on any of that. But she left Italy like she went to London and Paris, but but there were some people that would say, Listen, you're in Italy and you're infected, right? Because it's short sightedness. Okay, people are just like they're scared. So um so history would indicate that it should come as no surprise that Monday, last Monday, the World Health Organization director stated that during the previous 24 hours, there were almost nine times more COVID-19 cases reported outside China than inside. The great thing about living in a virally networked society in a time of viral outbreak is we have the chance to shape our outbreak narrative with intention. Even as scientists, doctors, the World Health Organization, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the United States, okay. among many You're other... You're not going to read the whole no, page, right? are doing their own work to combat the novel virus, listen to voice of professionals, okay, many of whom are active and vocal on social media, can help delay public present, not just in historical retrospect. I, can, I okay. can't let you go on reading. Oh my God. I can't well, let, let, me you, just I can't let okay. you go on reading. I, I um, gotta tell you, I... So... Okay, well, the article was on I, I, Well, I can't let you go on reading. Well, we can learn from history. I'm sorry. Um, so, you know, the, the constant... No, 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 excuse me. I am going to finish this. Just one last sentence. Because history has shown us over and over again that only by avoiding our knee-jerk instinct and isolated self-protectionism and instead leaning into the shared risk that we all in fact have in a globalized society, and this is just opinion. This is one sentence? Can we move quickly, ameliorate the effects of pathogens before they fester and emerge in new outbreaks? Yes. And by the way, I feel that way. Okay? Because the way we decide to... Uh, uh, to behave and approach this, okay? We told everyone yesterday that we went to an event. And we know people that are going to social events, to concerts last night, to theater, to Jerry Seinfeld on Saturday, to weddings. But be, but people are behaving differently, okay? They, the Allman Brothers had a big concert at Madison Square Garden oh, last night, yeah. and we know a lot of people that went. And, you know... Uh, you know, people, people said, people, said people, people were smoking, partied, but people right. were not passing, you know, <laughs> so that's, you know, that culturally, I said that to our friend that we were talking to, that, um, you know, the whole cultural act of smoking and passing in cannabis is part of the culture, you know. But and isn't that really even if we um if I no, share this it's no, not no, but the that's same? not no, that's not the culture. You don't take a sip of wine and pass it. That's not okay, what Okay, fine. I what, apologize. I'm just talking about no, sharing. Um, yes, but you know that's not part of the wine culture. Te everyone typically has their own glass. So of talk wine. about I I I Unless value, you're drinking out of the bottle, you're passing the bottle around. Listen to me. I value you when it comes to safety and to being proactive in uh -huh. that space. Okay. Tell everybody I will. I'm going to adjust this. Okay. Because you're also a reasonable person, okay? I know your initial... Most of the time. Your initial is knee-jerk. Your initial reaction is usually... No, not true. Not true. I oh, am very okay. level-headed. Okay. I am a great... If you want to have someone around in an emergency... You're a safety guy. If you want to have someone around in an emergency, pick and me Edge, for your team. And Steve hey, and Angus. Oh, my God. Um, I love that you tuned in tonight. Thank you. Um, so talk more about your perspective, because we just read Eric's... <clears throat> A thread about weddings, 
Okay? And now people have actually scheduled social events. Right. Right. Around family members. Yeah. So... Um, They'd have to fly. So our friend Eric Kent, who runs NJWedding.com... Can you put that down? Um, and don't hurt your glasses. Okay. NJWedding.com, and has for a long time. That's his and his wife's company, the website, NJWedding.com. Awesome. They're Fabulous, awesome. and a great fabulous resource, resource for anyone planning um, an event, wedding, wedding and planning. otherwise. And now they've they've pivoted, and they've also now they do a family, family the family. Um, Jinx. Yeah. Um, so Eric posted about um, you know the wedding industry, how it's handling this, like what it it's, was kind of an industry thread for wedding professionals to discuss their client issues. And, um, you know, it ranged from, you know, uh, client meetings, like canceling client meetings or moving client meetings online um, to, you know, situations like, and you don't even think about this, but there have been a rash of uh, university and college campuses. It also hosts closing, weddings. Right. And, th you know, quite often people will go back to their alma mater to to have a wedding at the chapel or reception on campus, campus and, and... Uh, no, they have these venues. I mean, they have yeah, beautiful and, spaces and on these now campuses. Now, suddenly, the campus. I mean, Eric got married at Rutgers. Are, he met his wife yeah, at Rutgers. Are closed, and subsequently, the facilities at these universities uh, are also closed. But what was interesting so, was the fact that they are making... So, th that they are relaxing... Their contractual agreements. Yeah, some of the venues were, um, you know, some of you may or may not know. When you plan an event, typically, you get, you have a guarantee, a the headcount guarantee. Right. You know, guarantee a hundred guests. If ninety of your guests show up, doesn't matter. You're paying for a hundred guests. In situations like this, where you're guaranteeing a hundred guests and you have Half of your guests are coming from out of the country, and now suddenly they can't travel. Well, from across the country. Or across the country, <laughs> and suddenly they can't travel, and now you're stuck paying for 50 guests that ultimately don't come. So um, some venues are are working with their clients in 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 that. Which I have regard to say, well. I think is a very um, fair. Um, nego it's, well, listen, it's either not having it at all and rescheduling it, which yeah, is well, a big, big yeah, um, it's undertaking very, the pro right, to because change the problem, day. And the, because the problem isn't so much as, okay, if you have a April 1st wedding planned, right? Okay, great. We can't have it in on April 1st. Let's just reschedule it to October 1st. April 4th. Okay. <laughs> I know. Well, just, I, you know, just an example I, I, someone else is already booked April, uh, October first. But your dates are going to be limited. The dates are not, dates are going to be non-existent because you're you know the other weekends going forward they're already booked with people. And by the way, people so you typically book a book year in advance on an average a year in advance. So you're going to see, okay, a lot of Thursday weddings, a lot of Sunday weddings, and maybe other day weddings, and other day weddings because. In uh, daytime well, weddings? Well, you know what? People may and even get married, like, at uh, Justice of the Peace. Just or, get married. Right, just get married and, and have the party have another party, time. You know? you know, but there are solutions. And I have to tell you, hey, Drew, thanks for popping in. Um, Robert and I, I have to say, there is a solution, okay? But the thing is, you have to be willing to invest your time and your money into it. Because the and thing... And you have to be ready with... You have to be ready to contemplate a plan B. But you have to also be open to it. And the thing is, is that if there is I mean, is who a, could have predicted... You can... There's not anybody on no. the planet, right? Really. I mean, I'm sure there are people on the planet who could have predicted this and probably did predict it and, you know, we didn't listen or whatever. But the average person doesn't think you were planning an event. Gee, you know, I hope... I hope, I hope there's not... Virus a virus doesn't... there's no epidemic, you know, right? there's no epidemic. Right. You know, it's like, I hope it doesn't snow. You know, people that uh, actually when you plan a wedding in, in the March, East Coast, in the East Coast, you know, you're like, gosh, wait a second, it was going to be March, it could be November to March. Right. Wait a second, and we even right. had a of thing course. in April. Of course, we even had a thing in right. April. So here so we are, it used to be snow. Like, oh, what a nice easy There's no winter. snow. 
And now right. we're screwed. Now we've got this, we've got health concerns. You know, right. So the thing just is, just when the wedding weather's getting nice and you want to be outside and hanging out and 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 being with people and going to the beach and going to the park and and all of that, you know, now it's going to be like, well, you know what, you're going to have to stay, stay home. home. And if you're going to go outside, you're going to have to sit it by yourself out in the backyard. So we have two know. weddings this weekend. And, and um, there's one on Saturday. Our friend's nephew is getting married. And we have our good friend's daughter. On our anniversary. Is getting married. Our anniversary is Saturday. I gotta, I, I gotta get you something. Yeah, you do. I think for a change of shirt. But we're going to go Saturday night. I'm going to make you a, um, like a frame with macaroni. Around it, I'm gonna spray paint it gold. That. Why don't you do it? Wait, remember, I did that actually on a on a like a little can, like Perhaps. a tomato juice can. Remember the use the, the glue pasta to it to a can. Anyways, thank you, honey. Right, pencil um, holder. I don't care. You're, I really don't. You know, I really don't want anything. I'm gonna write you a poem. I don't want anything. No, I like when you give me videos. Gonna... Oh. I like videos. My favorite thing in the world. Are your I have videos. so much to do. I know for for other reasons. It's okay. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. But. Just FYI, I like that. That's the that's a priceless gift because no, it's the no. only thing you can do. I don't really need. I don't want anything material. There's nothing I want. Occasionally, I wouldn't mind some flowers because I think it's just a nice gesture of saying, "I know you like flowers, and you're pretty, and they're pretty, and they make the house pretty." <laughs> Why is that funny? That's not funny. It's just the way you phrased Marco it. Marco had our wedding song. I still just think that's mind-boggling. Phrased it. I mean, for someone to get married, oh. almost. I forgot. 25 years I'm gonna use after, our, 25 years later than I'm us. Gonna use our they second, celebrated two years, right? I'm going to use our second choice this year. Oh, that was Lisa Marks. I fooled around and fell in love. No. Lisa Marks, that was the, the second choice, if you remember. Too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off. Can't of take you. my eyes off of you. That wasn't that both lines, lyrics, and those, and that? Yeah, those are the words. Okay, so that was Lisa and Marks, and I found that interesting to learn that after, because we'd already been married, <laughs> you know, when we met. Mm -hmm. And, hey, Diana, hey. are you still in New Jersey? If you're in New Jersey, please let us know. I still would love to see you. Hey, Dana. Leeward Islands, where's that? That's where's somewhere that? nice and warm and not here. Well, why didn't you invite me? That's the not Leeward right. Leeward Islands, um... I Can you Google, know, you want to Google it? Do you want to Google it on my phone Caribbean? or my computer? Well. So, hey, Rachel, all I got to so, say, okay, is we said we are, we are done. The president's coming on at 9 o'clock. I'm so excited. Not. <laughs> There's nothing that I enjoy about that. And I don't really care. I will tell you all. And you, I, Holly doesn't like her, her programs. Oh, to Diana, be, I'm so sorry. Holly doesn't I hope your like her is programs okay. to be preempted. For any reason Diana, whatsoever. Diana, I'm so sorry we didn't get together. Seriously, from my heart. I can't wait to meet you in person. I hope when you come back the next time you let us know. Suzanne and I would both love to, you know, see you. In the Caribbean. The Leeward Islands are in the Caribbean. I, I, oh, I you're so feeling. lucky. Like, so lucky. I'd like to be in the Caribbean with you. Even if I had to work in the Caribbean, I'd be happier being there. You know that? We've done that. We've been in Sunshine working. Yes, we're happy. I have successfully been able to work in tropical climates. I, 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 yes, so I this have is, proven that I can. So this is the story, okay? Is that be mindful, okay, of your behavior surrounding this disease. And realize like when I saw on the news this morning, when they talk about the numbers that they keep, um, most importantly, I hope your mother's okay, Diana, is that really, is um, what I really feel is that fear begets fear. Crazy begets crazy, okay? We all need to be responsible. We need to be safe. Hey, Joanna, we need to be um, hyper aware of our our behaviors, our actions, our words, how we show up. We all have to pick and choose where we go. But I have to say, I think a lot of it is hypocritical. So I really feel be smart, okay? On don't be stupid. What you decide to go. To. We are going tomorrow morning. If any of you are in the Livingston area, I I, I highly um, recommend 
that you join us because we will be there in person and we'd love to see you. And we'll take a selfie with you if you'd like. So and I'll even give you a mood mat freaking if you come over to me and you. tell me you'd like a mood mat. We are going to be at the Livingston Chamber of Commerce tomorrow morning. It was not canceled. <laughs> what? We're making an appearance. We, we are. And we love... First of all, Monty's the president. He's a good yes. friend of ours. President Monty. Okay. Ken just He's joined. not the one that's speaking at 9 o'clock tonight. There's someone about memory talking tomorrow. Yeah, it's like the, me the there's going to be a memory workshop. And we are going Improve to be... Your memory. And we are the featured... Um, and I need my memory improved. Presentation in April. I have a we, very poor memory. Well, I like, take, I don't remember Why don't you take Isogenics Brain Boost, baby? What's wrong with you? Why don't you try it? I bet you... I was rubbing it on my head. For, for rubbing it? Rubbing, rubbing it on your head? Okay. And by the way, if any of you are want permanent pain relief, you heard me, permanent pain relief, I'm going to give a shout out to Dr. Joe and Dr. Chris and the team over at Barefoot Rehabilitation Center. Because let me tell you, in Denville, people are traveling from all over the country to come meet him. It is something that is called adhesion removal. And I had, okay, a treatment this morning. And I will tell you that I, I, I'm a believer. And I have to tell you, there is an opportunity for permanent pain relief. So I highly recommend, and I will put it in the comments, a tag to this practice. Um, so I wanted to give that shout out because I'm grateful. And you just did. I'm grateful for that treatment this morning. Yes. My next treatment is Friday after my spin class. Yes. And then next Monday. Right. And then I will report more on my experience at Barefoot she Rehabilitation will. She Clinic. Will. She will. I, I you. wish... Well, first of all, I am such a lucky girl that my husband now, this one, my first husband, is going to cook me dinner. And he's going to be so creative with some leftovers. Oh, tell everyone about the dinner we had last hey. night. No, no. The last thing we want to say. Go ahead. You're, I'm, it's all yours, and then we say goodbye and good night. Do you remember the, the name? Good night, Gracie. Raphael, Ralph. Cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell them about it. Uh, we would like to share we... one experience. We were hungry post-event yesterday, and we did not talk about this no. on our live yesterday. We didn't. But we talked about, didn't we talk about the event? I don't know if we did. We had to. We did not talk about cha-cha-cha. We went we were the only on the way up from medicine. <laughs> we were hungry. Um, and um, I wanted something a, a little different. I, you know, I, but I, I, I discovered it on Yelp. Latin food. So we, so no, you said Cuban. Cuban. You said right away. You Cuban. said, look I up said Cuban food. Cuban. How um, look on Yelp. So like the third, the third try, you know, in Yelp, we came upon cha-cha-cha. In Kenilworth, which is was right off of the Parkway, coming up from Edison, and we arrived. We got a spot, kind of right in front, a little down the block. Kind of right in front. And as I was finishing my conversation with Martha, we went in and we met uh, Ralph. No, you were in there talking to him. The for a owner. While. I said, "What's his name?" He says, "I don't know." I says, "What's your name?" The owner, Ralph, and, and I said, "That doesn't sound Cuban." And he, he says, "Raphael." Assured us that. It's as authentic we would, as This is be. the real deal. And he was right. And I had... Um, I had uh, a traditional dish. I don't know what the name of it is. It was pork cubes with was, peppers and onions. It was so in it was your rally. Very, it, was it was so in your exactly rally. Hey, Nancy. And it was served with tostones and uh, congri. It actually... Which the is... The tostones was rice. extra, by the way. It was? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's it was a, worth so, it. Yeah, yes, it was. Oh, no, no, it's a, it was such a... The restaurant itself was a storefront. Very, like... You know, like four tables. It was authentic because there were, like, bongo drums. Like, I thought of Ricky yeah, Ricardo, nice. the you know, at it the counter. Nice. It's four years old, the restaurant, and um, he does a lot of takeout. So it was a husband-wife team. And I have to tell you, there was one fire... Um, men that came in and he took to, to take out oh, and then someone else had I take out. My back was to the door. I know, I but see. I saw. So he had take out and then this woman had take out. Uh -huh. But he treated us as if we were family. And all the Yelp reviews then, said how amazing. Then, so much so that we watched about 15 four, minutes four of videos of his, his daughter, daughter Dan, Daniela, Daniela, Dan, Dan, Daniana, 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 Daniana. Okay, and boy yeah. oh boy, is she beautiful. Yeah. 
and he has two daughters, and we got to know him. I have to tell you that the food was like. Really, it's just like the, the menu kitchen, was amazing. We also started off with um, a croquette and an empanada, chicken and, chicken a, beef. and a beef. So we, we started shared. off with the appetizer. I mean, how could you not have an empanada? And then we went, Hey, Jen, I'm getting really hungry. I know, but last night, and then I had a chicken dish. He showed us these specials. It was like a chicken fricassee, right. so it's like a chicken of. fricassee with potatoes, and then it also came with white rice. Raw, and I had black beans. Yours came with a black Cuban Congo. rice. Congo. Woo! Let me tell you something. Cha 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 in Kenilworth. Thumbs up. Five stars. Awesome experience. And it's good. It's amazing really right value. Off the two dollar sides in the Yelp. So now yeah. I've done two shout outs to two businesses. One, Barefoot Rehabilitation Clinic in Denville, New Jersey. And Cha 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 in Kenilworth, New Jersey. Because we love food and we like to be pain free. And of course, you know we love our CBD. As I definitely have been talking about Lily Pearl. And Theron You and Carrie Wellness and Lock and Key. And I could go on and on You're and on. My arm. My, you gotta send my C B D organics. You gotta send them that info. So Are you out of your mind? Yes. you you I mean you're gonna conduct business while we're here. Love. Let me tell you something. Good, Good night, everybody. Good night.